Remember those early days. I'll be telling my sister Chidim that she. I, I told her she will lead prayer. The first time I told her to lead, we are six in number. Those days, I told her. Forgotten. I traveled for a program now. I told you to lead prayer. She led prayer for 15 minutes. They struck her with arrow. She almost died. Kayanos, 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 fresh tongues. Kayanos, fresh tongues. A new depth, a new fountain, a new depth, a new fountain. Kayanos! I say that even if your father is the one that prophesied to you, <laughs> and told you that you are a great man of God that he was there when they prophesied to you. I put it to you that that's your father and mother doesn't know you I don't care if it's my mother she doesn't I don't care if it's my father he doesn't there is a day that they will see you in the glory their testimony about you will change because they prophesied as God told them what they prophesied about even them do not understand such that even sometimes when god pulls you through the system that can reveal that can bring the apocalypse sometimes some of them will not understand some may understand sometimes when you appear in that room, they will not even know that this is exactly what god is talking about because the things that we speak about it had nothing to do with the natural even if God reveals it to you by prophecy, when it begins to manifest, the thing will blow your mind. You know why I'm saying this? John, the same John that said, this is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. The same John came after and said, are you the one that is to come? Or should we expect another? If John can doubt his own prophecy, then me, I have to be humble. And we have to understand that there is no great in after the natural. We have to travel to the realm of the spirit so that we can pick things as it is. If you're with me so far, say amen. amen. Don't go back without, without the real you being cracked. Those days when we come for 24 hours, I, told them, I, I tell them that you, your soul needs to be cracked. Remember those early days, I'll be telling my sister Chidim that she, I, I told her she will lead prayer. The first time I told her to lead, we are six in number those days. I told her, forgotten, I traveled for a program now. I told you to lead prayer. She led prayer for 15 minutes. They struck her with arrow. She almost died. She wanted to stop, but when she remembered, one thing she does is that if I tell her to do something, she will just do it like that. She knows how to follow. When she remembered I'm the one that told her, she still continued. When she finished that one, that's how she started knowing, ah, there is something in this. I will tell her, she says she can't do it. I say, my friend, go and do what I told you, my friend. I saw her in prayer and prophetic conference. She said, from my womb, I released. And power was falling everywhere. I remembered. I remember that if we have allowed you that way it is, there, there can be apocalypse. We kept dipping you into water. You come out, your flesh will resist. We dip you back. You come out, your foundation, your mindset will still be telling you. You are not the one. They can't use you. They, you are not the one. They can't be talking about somebody like you. Uh, his people, you look at that man. He's dressing like a man of God. Look at that guy. He's looking like forget those people that are looking sanctimonious and pious many times if the hand of god is coming those people that is working you come maybe you are in the camp but when it, they have a, a spiritual language if, if they even want they will try to intimidate you with their spirituality i put it to you that many of them are dry if you are not careful they will start prophesying to you if you are not careful they will start trying to they will say in it seems as if you, are, you look like one of them. You, they will try to manipulate. Leave it. When God comes, he is the one that reveals. He reveals what is inside.
at the mount of transfiguration the voice came again and said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased that is a revelation you know why i'm teaching it like this a revelation an apocalypse is what god does it is not what man does that's why we are trusting god for something to happen you see this is what i'm saying you can actually know that you are called that doesn't mean anything it is god that comes and tells a generation i call this man all your adverts if you like <laughs> If you like do facebook advert from now until next 20 years nothing it is there is what they call robot robot will be liking your post for you i know one other thing about how this social media works is robot there are some people you will come and see there is fifty thousand on their page they post something it is only 500 do you know why majority of is robot that is liking your page for you robots that is what is called organic i believe in organic i like organic organic means that you allowed it to do it it is on its own whatever happened happened because of the process of the power that is within what you posted if he had the ability within himself to pull people and reach people it is there leave it is organic in organic if it is one thousand you know it's one thousand they are genuine you can even sponsor a post that's how they will catch you and use social media and finish your ministry but if it's organic if you like do advert tell do ha go to radio station go to tv station go everywhere tell them that there is a program that is everything that day you will even be preparing you will not answer your phone from morning till four and the program is starting by five when you now on your phone by five they tell you ah pastor is only three people that has arrived though. some of you are too young to have experienced this kind of heartbreak in ministry <laughs> heartbreak you prepare you spend like five million prepare for a program come for the program and see about 25 people that's what Benny he said he said bad sound no people in a place is heartbreaking But if you have a calling and you are not the one saying it, God comes and says, Hey, Nero, I have called this guy. Even if all the demons are saying, You can't call him, you can't. That's, that, those demons will become the reason why you will rise faster. Yes, I have found out. If God called you and people say no, that's the reason you will rise faster. But if they call you and everybody run around you, well, there will be many. From my experience, there will be many egos to massage. It is actually a fact. So sometimes there are things you want to say that would have pushed your ministry forward. But because there are many people, if you say it, it will seem as if you are talking to somebody else. You will now say, I will not say. It. Before you know it, they will cut your leg, cut your hand, cut. Before you know it, you are like this. Your message will be dry. So sometimes God will take you, place you, prepare a table for you in the midst of your enemies from there he will anoint you with fresh oil before you know it poo, 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 poo. because human being are human being when you get on your throne everybody need what your throne is bringing such that even people that don't like you is is still tapping you from the secret i know people that they are doing this but when they speak in tongues i know that this is from revival hub meanwhile they are saying but be they study them it's revival hub it's an empty when my biological father was there, he said there are four angels that god brought from heaven that there is one that god told him to train me that i will write that angel is for we are here by ordination is a calling it's a calling it's a calling what we are doing in our labors and running is so that an apocalypse will come the things that eternity captured let the thrones represent it there is an administration that needs to flow said they saw white people all kinds of people seated everywhere they are coming to be trained that's when i knew i have a horn of discipleship of training men i have the anointing of david if you sit around me you become like me 
But you know that thing would have died with me if there is no apocalypse. Satan no too. He was there when they were doing the prophecy. He wrote his own down. I prophesy to you, something will break out of your life from this meeting. I didn't hear your amen. Something will break out of your life in the name of Jesus. Something will break out of your life in the name of Jesus.